What about you? I don't see you for a long time. Why? I'm always here. Ask Fatima. She knows. <coughs> well, what about you? I don't see you a uh, long time. I come to visit you. I didn't see you. Nice, nice seeing you. Yeah. No, no, no. Not her. How am I gonna get it like oh, no, that? Put some of that on. Which one? Which one? Oh, yes, yes. Put some of that on there. Hey. All right. See, I me I mess up. Yes, if you can, of course. You, know. you got it. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? Hi, how are you? Do I sport occupy? It Depends. Like you if you're doing uh, smart yeah, stuff, you know, I support you. I don't have to support you unconditional. That's called uh, um, dictatorship or totalitarian, you know, stuff. I don't, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in totalitarian stuff, you know? Like Marxist, Mao, Marxist, Leninist, ask her please. So I don't believe in stuff like, okay, do you support Occupy or not? Oh, okay, you support Occupy, then you have to agree what General Assembly says. That's dictatorship. I don't like it. I don't ac accept anybody's decision.
What about you? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Today I was trying to find the uh, the, the uh, civil the civil disobedience summer school. I wasn't able to find them at Central Park. Forget about it. I was I was there today. I I, I, I go every Saturday. Why we have to be disobedient? Because I believe that our government is disobedient. I believe in. Why do you need government? Well, it's not that we need it, we have it at this point. So Why don't you get to... rid of it? Well, I'm trying the best way I can. You don't have to disobey them. You just build the alternative. Where there is no government, build it. An alternative where there is no well, government. Right, but we need enough people to be able to build that alternative. No, you and me. Or well, she and you. Or whatever. You don't need enough people. It can be even a family, like small, two people, five people, or uh, five million, doesn't matter. It's the idea, show the idea works. Right. If you believe in it. I agree with you. So if you, if you don't believe, that's fine, then no, that's, what you, that's what you get, corruption. I agree with you. There's a great book I want you to check out. What's that? It's called Occupy by Norm Chomsky. When he published that? It just came out a couple of weeks ago. Chomsky, what's he saying? It's a great book. He, it's, it's his speeches when he goes down to Occupy Boston. Oh yeah? What he has to say there. Did you I, take a look? Oh, I read, I bought the book and read it. Uh, can you make a comment about sure. he the main about ideas there? Sure. Well, his main ideas are, is that we need to put pressure on the government through Occupy. He thinks that Occupy is... Government. Of, yeah. He thinks that Occupy is one of America's last hopes. Government, he says. Yeah. I thought, I thought he is an anarchist. He is an anarchist. How come he even accept existence of government? Because when you say pressure on the government, you're accepting it. Well, existence. He's not, he's not accepting, but the the, re, the reality is, the reality is okay is that there's a government. So his point is that uh, that Occupy okay provides a space okay, and he thinks he thinks that we need to go into every community and yes. find out what their find out what their needs are. Okay. He thinks that everybody will hop aboard yes. if, if we get things done in everybody's community. That's one of his points. That part I like. What, one of his other things. But, he, but one of his other yes. things he did was he talked about the death of Howard Zinn, and he gave a, a tribute to Howard Zinn. Yes, Zinn. Okay, the historian. Yes. You like Howard Zinn? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Not all the time, but yes, of course. Well, no one's perfect all the time. <laughs> now I a, I like I like Chomsky too, but there on the bad government. Uh, I totally disagree about that because it's like, I give you an example, we have corporate uh, media, right? That's right. Uh, reality. So Chomsky is doing, doing, saying something like that, 
Oh, we have a corporate media. It's a fact. It's reality, right? So um, let's try to be in the news of the corporate no, media. No, he thinks, he thinks we need to change the paradigm. That's good. And he, think, and he thinks that Occupy, yes, Occupy's I like that. role is to change the uh, is to change the paradigm. I think you need to read it. I think you'd find it very interesting. It's a great book. When you finish, can I uh, can you lend me and I finish and return? Yeah, I That's already finished great. it. I oh, finished yeah? it in a day. I loved it. I have to take a close look on that. If you have, uh, you know, whenever you come here, you'll find me, right? Yeah, you know, there's some people, these pictures in the book from uh, people from Occupy yes. Wall Street. I know most of those people that that they show in the pictures. Oh, you, you got some pictures? Okay. No, they have pictures in the book. Yeah? Yeah, from Occupy Wall Street. What about your picture? I don't take pictures. I mean, somebody maybe put your picture in. Oh, my pictures are all over the place. I don't good, care. Good, good. Okay. I'm very proud of the work I do. Yeah, I want to tell you something. If you want, if you want to, if you, if you don't like something, let's say you don't like government, you don't like religion, you don't like... Uh, start your own paradigm. Capitalist, start your own paradigm. Then don't... Uh, focus on the paradigm you don't like. Focus on, on your, your on alternative. Your paradigm. Yes. I agree with you. And, give that, and give that high drink. five. Yeah. Hey. I agree with you. So you're gonna you're gonna have a chance. You're gonna bring the book. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the book. Thank you. I'm a, I'm a man of my word. I don't just have I like it. Down. I like it. Thank you.